the Pentacle Server Manager and the server below is um, a few nice guys who, are, who, are, who have, have developed their server manager for ARC and a few other games um, contacted us and asked if it would be possible to also create a server manager for Pentropy, so we support them and help them to create one from Pentropy. So it will be much easier for everyone who wants to host uh, a server using their manager. And once it's um, finished, we will include links on the website and our social channels. And another thing, if you were wondering why our Twitter account is currently suspended, we have no idea. Uh, a huge amount of accounts have been suspended at the same uh, time and we are also in contact with a lot of uh, other developers um, whose accounts have been suspended we are on it but i'm not sure if this will be solved anytime soon so yeah as you can see the visuals of pentapy has changed quite a lot uh, in the past two or three weeks we've been working on basically all the visual systems of the game. And we have also managed to increase the performance by at least 80%. The game is now a little bit more balanced in terms of CPU and GPU. Uh, before the patch, it was uh, quite heavy on the CPU. And since we are now using uh, batching and especially uh, instancing for the uh, for the trees and, and the grass and stuff like that, we are a little bit more heavy on, on the GPU. Uh, you have uh, Grass Shadows on? Uh, do I? Yes, I do. Okay. Interesting. Why are you asking? Uh, there's no sound. Like, uh, there's no sound? Oh, really? Uh, why is that? Could you, could you tell speak again? Hello? Yeah, there should be sound. Oh, there's sound. Uh, I just checked the stream myself and there's sound. Um, I think the cloud shadows look a little bit fast in game. Uh, they yeah, they are really fast beautiful. on the outside of the map and really slow on the inside of the map because they, uh, it's, it's like the sphere that spins. Uh, well, I see. That's what <laughs> so they're super fast out here. Okay, so maybe we sh should just turn them down so they're yeah, it's... slow on the outside yeah. too. Yeah, um, since we have added, uh, or we went from 70,000, uh, from, sorry, from 5,000 trees on the map to 75,000, um, we also had to work on something that the community has requested quite a lot, and it's destructible trees. So if you don't want to build your base inside of the woods, you're free to do so. You can simply use a hatchet which you can craft to remove trees and you can also stop them with your mech or you can crash with your tomahawk into it and they will get destroyed or use uh, any kind of explosive weaponry to to remove them. Yes, so every tree in the world is now destructible. Uh, yeah. there, there might be still a few here and there but yeah, also the, there are no effects at the moment. Uh, that's something that we will add soon and <laughs> a little bit more polishing of the, on it. <laughs> so, having some nice uh, tree destruction and splatter effects, particle effects, and that's oh, you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Julian has just added this today, so it's still a little bit uh, over the top. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this will change soon, but 
you know, we, we go from, from rough to, to fine uh, in detail. Um, I really like those shadows, uh, of the cloud shadows. They add a lot. Yeah, they're yeah, adding a lot. Yeah. So the, the cloud shadows are disrupting that we have uh, added to the game. Um, we have replaced all the terrain shaders, um, which boosts uh, the performance. And we also went from uh, eight textures to twelve terrain textures. So we have uh, a much more diversity in, in ground textures, and you can see that especially in the desert. And obviously, we have added a lot of trees. And from now, we will work uh, on a few different biomes. So at the moment, the, the forest look basically more or less the same. Maybe we'll just uh, hop into a Tomahawk and show the map from above. So people get mm, maybe a quick overview and then I land somewhere. And, uh, yeah. We have now much improved uh, 3D billboards. So the trees are not just a plain billboard as you know it uh, from maybe other games or like it was in Petropy before. Uh, we have special 3D billboards, so they change if you're depending on, on, your, on the perspective you're looking at them. So if you're above the uh, tree, you get a different billboard, which looks like a tree from, uh, from, from above. And... Uh, it looks so much better on the train and they also have a higher resolution. And the next thing is we have replaced our day and night cycle, the clouds, the fox system. We now have fully volumetric fog. And we have improved the water a lot, um, which also boosts the performance. These dense forests now give a, give a much more intimate gameplay experience, so you don't have all these massive uh, open open spaces uh, where, where you can see everybody from, from a miles away. Um, which is quite nice if, if you want to go stealth. Um, let's not go way too far. Some more Tomahawk, should be ready anytime soon. <clears throat> yeah, uh, with this update, we have also added a ton of sounds. Uh, yeah, we had a lot lying around, and um, we just decided to take two days or three days off and just add all of the sounds to the game, including UI sounds and um, better explosion sounds and a lot of ambient sounds, birds, and stuff like that. So we have also made the tomahawk a little bit more uh, um, less sensible to to uh, collision damage, and also a little bit more agile. And as you can see, uh, maybe you can go back to the graphic settings again. We have improved our graphic settings a lot. Yeah, we get quite then, a lot more of graphic settings now. Uh, yeah, wait, let's <laughs> there are many more options now. So, as you, as you can see before. Uh, the world of Petropy was, in my opinion, a bit ugly from uh, viewed from the sky. And you have the billboards are adding a lot, of course, uh, the tree billboards adding a lot to the terrain. And you also have uh, the new fog, which is a lot different to the fog that we were using before. What is your tree render distance? It's crazy. Yeah, I set it to 600. It's still 60 FPS, so. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, we have. The FPS are so much better than before. It's the first time. Um, it's a shame that I have to say, but I, I work on the, on the Xeon workstation, so it's good for working, but it's bad for playing. And I usually play. Since I have large displays, I play um, Entropy um, in full HD windowed mode. 
and I usually don't play it in, in full screen. And not the first time that I can play our game full screen on my workstation. Um, so as you might hear already, you, you might hear, you might be able to hear the, the sounds coming from this. But also, uh, previously we had no sounds for anything. Uh, so if I... Are we ever again able to play first versions that you guys released to the public? I think that would be too much of a shame for us. <laughs> oh, and I don't know. If oh yeah, let's do that. Right. Well, at some time, but we we uh, we might have to figure out how to to access them uh, or how to to run them because they were quite quite bad actually. So as you can hear, I got sounds for. For uh, hacking the the territory uh, manager right here. Oh, Let's try that again. Right, well, I think there's still some issues right here. Man. That sucks, kind of. Well, let's get back into the. So this is the 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 tomahawk. Someone was asking about that. Um, and this is just uh, this small uh, aircraft. Uh, the bigger one will be added later on. Oh, and you might as well, you might hear we uh, while we were working on on the. On, on sounds, we added reverb sounds to the world, so um, you might hear a difference now that that we are under this this uh, huge spaceship. You might hear a hall effect. Yeah, that's that's pretty pretty noticeable. And if I go out of here, um, it should vanish. Let's let's use the way of going out. No, yeah, yeah, you can definitely hear it by the engine sound that this is, uh, that this uh, has changed. Um, we get raided by, by people from from from. Yes, the patch is out now. The patch is currently live for public. Um, Anyone who has a game, feel free to join us on the uh, EU server. Let's get on. So the earliest access you can get from the Kickstarter is for 30 euros, the lieutenant package. It gives you access uh, right after the Kickstarter ends in May. Uh, this is the earliest we can do. Uh, we will also give away five keys today to the closed alpha. Uh, Razor Ring, no, the game is not released anywhere yet. We are currently running a Kickstarter. Um, here's the key again. Oh, this is the, the link, sorry. Um, currently, you can fly up as high as you want, there's no limit. Um, it might be possible the, though that delayed. we are going to to add yeah add a limit uh, someday. No, I got just got the message that the uh, uh, land was claimed that I just made basically. Um, that took some time to. Nice. Oh, fuck, I thought I made it more. I just bumped into the it? trees and it exploded. What the tree? Or yeah, the... well, my tomahawk. Okay, was... I see. Yeah, okay, I can see it in the stream now. Yeah, well, that did work. Seems did like work the tomahawk work. is quite sensitive still. <laughs> um, well, that's gonna gonna get changed. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that should be ready anytime soon. All right there. Oh, well, maybe you could join. No, if you if we go and install some weapons, you might hear that there are sounds for that as well. 
And let's install the tech mod. And maybe so in a rocket launcher so we can get rid of some trees. Um, use some rockets. Don't know which 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 one it used. All right. Oh no, the oh no, the aiming is. Oh no, why is it doing that? Oh man. What is happening? I thought the aiming is fixed. Yeah, me too. I don't know. It it it, it, it worked, but then. Uh, it seemed. Uh, well, I have to look into that. All right. Let's uh, just have the right weapon installed. See how that works. Right, yeah. Oh. Uh, Razor Ring, what do you need? What do you update up when you release or any beta cards? Uh, Wiki Leak, wo die Server gewiped? Ja, die Server mussten gewiped werden, da wir komplett alles geändert haben. Quite tedious to go, <laughs> go with the mech through the forest, but uh, it's possible. No, you shouldn't go. You should use the, the jet, uh, jetpacks. Oh, let's let's, let's visit the. You smack down a tree. Yeah, it depends on what you mean by smacking it down. You can uh, hit it with a hatchet, just walk uh, through it with your mag, stomp it, um, or you just use a grenade or uh, a remote charge. Yeah, there's a first person view. Maybe Julian can just switch to it for a while. Uh, Uh, the release date. Um, there will be a Steam Early Access release date. Uh, it will be in the third or fourth quarter of the year. It really depends on... Um, we still have to add a few major game features and we want to polish the game much more before we release it on Steam. So we really want to be happy with, with the version before we uh, get it on Steam. Is it possible to still harvest the trees that the mech knocks down? No, uh, wood is not playing any role in the crafting of the patch. Yeah, we, and that's the design choice we made um, because we don't want players to go around and harvest all the trees that are uh, that are currently on the map. Um, Have you just stomped the rock? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we should add a nice uh, uh, graphics effect for that. Oh, well. Um, so people don't just go around harvesting trees because they get something from them, and uh, thus the the, the uh, forest will look pretty bad. Uh, you might hear as well these sounds from the power plant and from the. Oh. What about the hundred twenty millimeter shells? That uh, that take down trees too. <laughs> I don't know, there seems to be an issue with the UI. But I uh, did you, did you uh, hear the question? What? What about the 120mm shells? Does that take down trees? Too? Yes, I can show that in a minute. Yeah. And do trees grow back or respawn after being destroyed? No, they don't grow back at the moment, but they probably will. Uh, Soon. Yeah, of course. And they, I think they will just uh, regrow at the same position unless there's a base or something placed on it. Exactly. That's at least how we uh, have planned it. We have, we have just finished the uh, tree destruction system, so it took us a while 
um, to get all the colliders syncing and stuff. I mean, we are basically currently networking 75,000 trees on the map uh, without a performance impact. So thanks to Julian, he has really done a great job on this. And it was a request by the community for a long time. I think uh, in literally every stream we've been asked uh, when we are going to add structural yeah. trees and why we can that tree and if those trees are made of concrete or what and yeah you name it no we're even better than gta <laughs> are you considering adding saplings and no <laughs> uh, no that's not gonna i happen. don't know i don't know I, I don't say yes or no at the moment uh, but it's not planned yeah. at this stage no. all right let's let's crawl uh, build the tier 3 mech and then to create your own forest around your base yeah. <laughs> would be cool yeah i think that would be cool but it would involve a whole lot of more work i think at least a week or more um just to integrate that into the current system well that's integrated oh no no that's not integrated and yeah yeah well is the mesh you're using in god mode no why why should it be Will you add a snow region? Yeah, we will work on more different uh, biomes uh, in the upcoming month. But I cannot confirm um, if there will be a snow biome or not. Yeah, the UI is a uh, colder uh, design. So yeah. <laughs> that's... Basically no designed UI at the moment is just working and it makes no sense to work on a polished ui at the moment we have that but we just had to rip it off and work with it as it is right now and we will have our ui designer to go over it once everything is finished yeah. more or less so at the moment it just needs to work who needs sex when you have patropy? Yeah, <laughs> but you can you can have patropy. Hey, yeah, and sex. The... <laughs> <laughs> That's a challenge. <laughs> and a little AI. Yeah, maybe you can spawn. Uh, oh yeah, sure. Something. Yeah, but well, first let's get rid of this forest with our 120 millimeter cannon. Oh no, it didn't work. Why though? I added it today. Ah oh, no. All right. Well, that's a bummer. Yeah. Man. I uh, was wondering, since the turrets at the power plant seem really ineffective to your mech, was wondering if they will be buffed or if spots like that will get more of an anti-mech turret. Yeah, they will get uh, the huge Gatling turrets. Uh, from the patient bases, or uh, maybe you can uh, turn the uh, turn data into the yeah. morning or something. Yeah, yeah that's that is exactly what we have discussed uh, a few weeks ago. That we need for the bigger outposts for the power plants, uh, we need a challenge for for Max, and that is something that we are going to work on. Also, the faction, uh, the enemy faction bases will get a bigger uh, defense tower that will uh, also be able to to defend air targets. Um, Alright, let's spawn in maybe a car, car, space car. Uh, how, are you go how are you guys using all the, those admin commands? The only one I see is teleport. Well, you have to be uh, admin on the server to to be able to use them. Sorry, locker. <laughs> <laughs> spawn mob. Is inverse kinematics planned for the max? Looks a little awkward with the floating legs. Yeah, well, actually, it is. Is inverse inverse kinematics on it? We just turn it off while it's standing around because it was uh, consuming a lot of performance when it's always on. So maybe Julian. Yeah, just show I'm currently the inside the mech, and as you can see, it is it is standing now properly on the properly on the ground, and if I walk, it's it's adjusting itself. Mm, but if somebody leaves the mech, it. Um, it gets turned off. When can we play? Uh, you can back the Kickstarter and then you will be able to play in May, when the Kickstarter has ended. This is the earliest. And if you want for a more polished version and you don't want to participate 
in the closed alpha you can wait until uh, late summer or um, sometime uh, in the third or fourth quarter of 2018 for the Steam uh, Early Access version. How did you decide on the name? Uh, I am an extreme sci-fi fan and um, I knew this name from a few books. It's basically the concept of human adapting to the environment, the, the opposite basically of uh, terraforming. And uh, we first named the game Altered State, but then at the same time two other games popped up with the same name, so we have to decided, have had to decide to pick a different Ooh. name. Would you be able to add plugins or mods in your own server? Yeah, mod support is definitely planned but further down the road, not at the moment. So we really want to get the foundation of the base uh, of the game right and... Whoa, <laughs> what's happening? You made it push around a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Thanks for backing the Kickstarter. You guys are totally awesome. And look at the new Fox system. It's awesome too. It's really great. So... Before we had those sweet space effects of basically fake um, god rays, and now we have real volumetric form. The terrain is currently not 100% working with it, as you can see, because we have turned off shadow uh, of the terrain. We hope that we can turn it on um, some someday again, but at the moment it's causing too much Z fighting. Yeah, single uh, single player. Um, the single player option is a stretch goal, so we will allow to play the game in single player. And we are currently working with a writer on the story, and there will also be story missions, which you can play then in, in multiplayer or single player. And with adding the androids, we will also ensure that you can uh, experience the. A, a similar gameplay that, that you would experience in, in multiplayer. So, do you have any idea how much the game will cost when it hits early access? Uh, 25 uh, US dollars spent. Yeah, we're working with Max or Ryder. He has also written the short backstory, which is uh, featured on our uh, Kickstarter campaign. How oh, you did a little work on the environment. Eh? Yeah. yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whether the, the basic shape of the map uh, is the same, but everything else is uh, got, re got replaced. I'm glad you guys really care about your game. I used to play Ark and they didn't care and it ruined their game. Well, I don't know the, the developers of Ark, but I think it is always really difficult uh, if you have so such a huge success in a very short amount of time. And uh, being bought by, by the Chinese uh, didn't help um, too, I think. Yeah, so, probably didn't improve Ark yeah. much. So if you add, add more and more stuff uh, while people are already playing, it, it becomes very hard to change um, any of the foundation of the game. So um, we took another road and we um, changed our foundation of several systems twice, twice or three times at least. Yeah. So let's see if this is going to work out, of, out for us. I mean, in the end, Ark has sold uh, many million copies. Alright, let's hop into the... I don't know, I got some... I don't know what it is. Might be the shell or not. I think it's... Or oh, the aura not is way up high. No, no. Early access will be $25, not $75. $75? That's quite a lot. Yeah. What? No, $25. <laughs> 
Will there be a pixel plantropy? No! <laughs> yeah, hey, no! <laughs> Any plans for VR support? Uh, we just purchased uh, an HTC Vive, and but there are no uh, serious plans for doing VR. Uh, so we would like to finish the main game before we think about any other games, about any additions, DLCs whatsoever, VR support, uh, console versions. I think it's a question we get every day if there will be console versions, but. It will take a lot of resources and money, and we have to sell the game first before we uh, can think about these. Will this game require a high-end computer? I use a laptop. Yeah. Well, we we are we, we are have just added. We are working on uh, constantly working on improving game's performance and um, of course we can turn as you can see we got a wider range a uh, wide array of uh, a large range of, of options to choose and to to set it maybe too low so you get a better performance um, even on your laptop um, so depends if, um, on your laptop I guess I mean if you're if you're running on a, a MacBook, well, we can't do anything about that. Um, oh, have you have you lowered the texture? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I thought it's a medium or just so so uh, that it's possible. Okay, maybe you set it back. Yeah. Not, not so nice. Okay. Um, have you guys finished or almost finished work on the dropship yet? Uh, I assume you're talking about the Zeus, uh, the three-player um, dropship. Bit. Maybe, yeah, maybe you can just fly to the Itokawa spawn and show yeah, it. The sure. 3D model is uh, done. The lots are done, and we just have to finish animations. And um, Julian is also very eager to work on this. Yeah, I mean, I loved working on on this little guy right here, and I'm really looking forward to working the Zeus. Especially picking up Max and dropping them, uh, but also the flight characteristics and having it. Oh, that, 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 this is gonna be cool. <laughs> I'm really hyped for that one. <laughs> oh. Gamescom? Nope, not this yeah. year. We are really too busy. Uh, last year it was a blast, but to be honest, it wasn't worth it. So we spent a lot of time and money, and it's we rather would like to improve the game. Exactly. What were your inspirations for the game? Liking sci-fi video, video games or movies? Yeah, making a game. Um, I, I think that's if, if that was for me my inspiration, and, and that's still the passion behind it. You know, making a game and seeing people play it. That's really cool. Yeah, I, th I think he's rather asking for uh, other game inspiration. Oh, all right. So, yeah. Uh, it would be uh, Rust, Planet Side, and Macquarie, and but also. Um, Books. Um, we are both reading um, Peter F. Hamilton. Where's my marker? How do you plan to deal with people putting detail terrain down to nothing for strategic events? Well, at the moment it is, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's not possible to, for example, to completely hide the trees. Yeah, I, so I, you I can show, but I set it to, to the lowest setting possible. Didn't. Oh well. Well, let's turn up the. Uh, where's my render distance? <laughs> right. It doesn't look also all that beautiful now, <laughs> but um, well. Um, uh, but but you might be able to see that there are still bushes and 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 stuff around, and you can still see that that there's a fairly bit of detail still. Uh, so people will be able to hide behind that. Holy shit! Can you turn the back? Yeah, <laughs> well, of course, <laughs> of course. <It's> <laughs> you know, <laughs> people joining us. Well, that looks crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's set everything to high again. Here's for exposure. Oh, 
Oh, oh, I can hear the German in you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, we can't hide that. We don't want. Oh no 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 no. Yeah, we we fixed the. Oh no. We fixed the uh, or uh, the um, turrets. Holy shit! Holy shit! We fixed the turrets, and they seem to be rather effective now. <laughs> Better than last time. I should have chosen to to use it, Kawa. Uh, but anyway, I can hear it. it saw me. But now where's the ship? Where's my marker? Where did I set my marker? Yeah, the area around the faction spawn, the faction HQ, is uh, defended by very powerful turrets, which basically creates um, a safe oh. zone for fresh spawn. Holy shit, alright, that turret is looking directly at me. It doesn't shoot though, thank god. <laughs> I think I have to look into that again. But oh, every, All of them are looking at me. Man. <laughs> Maybe you can just turn on God mode. Oh yeah, that's uh, my flight to to show the um, the zoos. Yeah, sure. Oh, that's loud as fuck. Holy oh, shit. Yeah, calm down already. I know I, I shouldn't be supposed to. All right, this is zoos, and this is going to going to be added soon. Um. As you can see, it's, it's rather large. Um, I see you. Lily is around here. Um, so this is a, the next project where we're we're going to add uh, the next thing. I'm really looking forward to add that. Um, these are the engines, and they 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 turn down so you can hover in, in mid air. And the did we not already um, finish? Ooh, somebody shot at me. <laughs> No, no, uh, he oh, he didn't animate it. All right. Yeah, but I'm talking. And then uh, something before we we hand out the keys from from the uh, from the Kickstarter, we will work on gunplay. So the guns uh, aren't as choppy as they are currently. <laughs> I enabled God mode, Lily. Really. Yeah, alright, it's alright, 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 I gotta kill myself. <laughs> Man, that's loud. <laughs> uh, alright, I better jump. So, uh. Why are the turrets not shooting at Lily? She uh, she used it to cover, yeah. Hello? Oh hello. hello! Hello there. Hey Frisky. Oh, Good it's evening. Frisky Donuts. Welcome. Good evening. Welcome to the stream. Hey. He's one of our, our test squad testers. It's 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 him right here in his yeah. uh, red leather uh, leathery look. And welcome, mm. uh, Lily. Lily and Frisky are both our um, moderators on the Discord and community managers. Hey, we just it's... hit 100 beers. I think it's the first time. Yeah, it's or, pretty no, cool. It's not... Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> pretty nice. <laughs> All right. Oh, it's back to ninety-nine. Oh man. <laughs> oh. Well. Um... Lily, we can't hear you. Lily. I did hear her, didn't I? I, I mean, well, yeah, I, I, I did. Yeah, you always hear, hear the explosive ammo just before dying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I want to I want to That's grab right. my uh, myself and the tomahawk and mow down a couple of trees with the uh, rockets. I hope that works. Oh, probably not. But but let's see. Um, maybe just use the player rocket launcher right here first and test that out. Where is it? Yeah. So yeah, gunplay is one thing we uh, we will change or maybe improve. Oh no, nope, didn't work. But it's loud. No, I don't want to kill myself. Oops, oh, yeah. Turn that down a bit. Man. Alright, better. I hope it's not too too quiet now for you guys. Um, I hope
Oh, it's still audible. Alright, let's see. Maybe I'll get rid of my stuff and uh, start a little base. Otherwise, I hatch it and uh, let's equip myself with a nail gun. Some nail gun ammunition, so I can. S oh, maybe not. Um, what pickaxe? Glow stick. Uh, we need. An Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Hey. Welcome. Yes. There we go. Glow stick. Let's remove all the stuff. Uh, yeah, we already did. We have a, um, um, a closed Discord channel with the YouTubers who supported Patrick in the past, and um, we just told them about the patch. And of course, we also hope that they will um, cover the game again. But I can underst understand that they have a tight schedule and um, that they want to show other games too, because most of them already did one or two series about Patrope. And since we are only a few testers, um, the servers are usually not very crowded. So, but that's also something that we will address where, once we implement the Androids for both faction sites which will um, give a lot more life to uh, the gameplay. And uh, if you fo have followed the, the, the Discord discussion, we had a lot of fun um, since one of our testers, Voskin, also a little streamer, has built a crazy huge flying base and everyone who got in close proximity was lagging out. Yeah. <laughs> That's where we've decided that we should finally add base batching, which means if you have 10 foundations, uh, the algorithm just take these 10 3D models of the foundations and merges them together to a single one, which reduces the draw calls and the workload for the graphic, graphics card. And we are basically doing this with uh, a complete base now, and this boosts the performance by at least 100% when you're yeah. close to uh, larger bases. So, um, I think we can start building a flight base today. Oh, yeah. All right, Joel. And show, show Maybe we off. should remove those stones right here. Because people might think that you can harvest those because they, they look kind of similar to rocks from a distance. Uh, to ores from a distance. And mm -hmm. also, it might mean we have the ores lying around, so it's not like it's empty without them. Um, I think it is a little bit empty without them. I would like to add more, even more. Oh, really? Well, let's have more ores instead of useless rocks. Yeah. We? <laughs> oh, there are two ores inside of each other. That's interesting. All right, so let's let's build a a flying base. Uh, get some tier two parts. Oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Uh, but I probably didn't fix it. No, I didn't fix it. Oh man, I wish I I, I, I fixed the um, underground bases, but I didn't. Um, <laughs> PVE question mark? Yeah, there is PVE of course, and there will be even more. Um, first of all, we have an enemy faction that is located in the middle of the map, and they also have bases. And we will soon, um, I think next month maybe. We will add androids on both player faction sites and they will basically act similar to players and also build bases that you can raid and they will defend territory and attack the player. Someone is saying you can't back the Kickstarter campaign. Why can't you back the Kickstarter campaign? Oh, uh, by the way, we also have, now have an option to, uh, to back us um, by using, uh, with PayPal. Uh, Kickstarter doesn't seem to to um, to have that option, uh, but on our website you can back us uh, with with PayPal if you if you can't uh, or if you don't have a, have a have a, a credit yeah use the link yeah so this is just for a limited uh, amount of time available uh, till the end of the Kickstarter till May the tenth. 
So we got a lot of requests. So uh, I talked to our web designer and he set this up. So for a limited amount of time, uh, until May 10th, it will be available and afterwards, afterwards we will close it down. So is it possible to capture land right now? Because I've been holding E at yeah, this outpost. Yeah, it, it is possible, but it seems to be rather laggy at the moment. Uh, I did capture land before. Uh, th that's the only red square on the map, if you, if you have a look. And it did take like two or three minutes until it registered that I... <laughs> that I, okay. I... I'm not quite sure what's up with that. I may have to look hmm. into that later on. But... Interesting. Should be fixed. Did Thanks you guys course. answer Tornado's question? Uh, which one? Uh, he was asking if the flying foundations are not movable. They are, they are movable, but in a command way, a passive way. So you can, can command it around. Yeah, I can show it. You cannot I, use a WASD to fly it like, uh, like a tomorrow, for example. So this might be a future uh, feature in the future. Let's see. We cannot confirm this yet. Let's put down the base core right here. And is it made with Unity? Yes, yes it's Unity. How many players in a game? We currently support 64 players, and we aim for 128 players. I don't know how many players are currently on the server. Maybe Julian can. Uh, currently there are, oh, yeah, job failed, members. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players on the, on the server currently. Oh no, we lost land. D6. Need to take the fight to ITO. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where, where, well, where did we lose some land? Maybe, probably around the. Oh no, in D6, alright. That's quite. It's right at the Mac graveyard. Yeah. Come on, I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah, Battle Royale mode, uh, event or mod. Well, uh, we will add mod support and if someone decides to create a mod that allows people to play in a battle royale style, uh, sure. Uh, but we have nothing such planned right now. Uh, we probably won't convert Pentropy into a battle royale game. Um, man, the view is great. How is the final, final state gonna look like? Well, if you uh, follow the development of Pentropy, you can uh, see a clear evolution of the game, especially of the visuals. So we have started working on this in 2016 and um, I can <laughs> share some early screenshots. So we have come a long way. Yeah. So it, especially with the latest up update, uh, the visuals, visuals has changed a lot. And we will of course try to push it even more. Do you have some? Do you have some? Still some old pictures of back in the day when we started Pentropy? Maybe we can show them off at uh, the end of the uh, of the stream, and have a little comparison to what it looks uh, looked like. When I mean there, we had so many versions of the game where we weren't really public. Um, just just you and me and Marco and Alex testing the game. We did so many base building stuff. All right, uh, I'm still moving. Let me see. I'm, I'm sure my fraps folder has very, very early screenshots. Oh, great. <laughs> May even still from, <laughs> from the white land? Yeah, sure. I, th I think so. Oh no, what's, what's happening here? Don't do that. How could you do that? Go back. Right. There seems to be a 41. Maybe let's just. Didn't you guys trust client and that's why you started fresh? Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's talking about um, the server authoritative uh, 
update we did. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, we 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 had all all things on on the client, and uh, we did even for for a couple of days uh, back uh, when we had the pre-alpha demo out, the public one. Um, we did um, store items on the client, and then there were some, were some crazy Russians that uh, hacked these uh, the game files and impo implemented uh, or changed the, uh, them in a way that they had uh, rail guns uh, with the uh, that were shooting like um, like assault rifles uh, and did a thousand damage uh, per shot. So that was yeah, one guy even uh, injected the air fights code to spawn UI for spawning stuff, and he's also spawned stuff and spoiled content that we haven't showed that time. Yeah, we had we had uh, back then we had we had a different tomahawk. Uh, it was called the um, uh, hummingbird, and um, we wanted to spare uh, we wanted to to keep that a secret, and to show it off in the in the trailer and. Um, Back then we had testers who are still with us today, Iris and and Son Juan, um, uh, which then got got the Tomo, uh, got the hummingbird from from that guy that that hacked the uh, uh, the deal uh, the game, um, and after that we basically closed down the the pre-alpha demo and um, uh, just said, all right, we gotta we gotta uh, stop it right here and. And uh, recode the game because uh, in the future this is going to happen a lot of uh, a lot more. And so we did take the time to recode, and it took like six months or something uh, until we got to a state where the game was back where where we were um, uh, during the demo phase. Um, can we move the base like a mothership? Yeah, you can. Yes, I could. I could what? maybe. Um, a little, a little bridge. So here's a, is basically one of the first screenshots we had from a reversion of the game. I have to make sure to delete it from immature later. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah, right. Um, yeah, that was oh man, I remember the old Mac system. <laughs> that was that was a bitch actually, <laughs> especially the synchronization of the guns. Yeah, that was quite. Um, Uh, back then we had two different Unity projects and we had to merge them every time we wanted to, to basically experience the game as it is um, because Unity didn't have the collaborate feature that it has now which is quite handy to be honest uh, now what do I want I want to take this oh, let's, let's remove those again Say solid 60 FPS, but with a solid 50 FPS right now. I got my tree render, this is quite far. Alright, let's um, maybe ramp. Yeah, sure, why not? Here's another early screenshot from a very early version. I think it was from the demo while we were testing. The snapping system for the building. Yeah, that might be. But it's, but that, looks, that looks quite alright. Um. Yeah, that screenshot is from. Let me check the date. It's actually, not that old. Or am I wrong? Oh, yeah, it is. It's. It is from uh, November 2016. Holy shit, that's our oh, two so years it is, old. It was, it was, yeah, I think it was the, the beginning of the demo, of the free public demo we had. Can you explain base decay a little bit? Sure, there is none at the moment. <laughs> there will be one. Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> yeah, there, there will be one, but we haven't 100% decided yet how we will do that. 
and if, if the will be uh, include a system where you have to maybe uh, store a certain amount of a specific resource or if it just will be like seven days and then it will start decaying depending on the size of your base how will the pve server work will there be end goal of destroying the npc faction what happens then yeah we will add the androids to both uh, sides of the faction and there will be of course more androids than in the PvP gameplay, and there will be a constant war, and it it is more of a open world sandbox game. So I'm not sure if we will add um, a final goal that would end the game. Yeah, be... But the enemy faction will play a big role, and we will develop this further more uh, uh, together with the story of Petropy. That just takes time. Why is Voskin so scared of Lily? I have no idea. Everyone is scared. <laughs> yeah, of <Lily>. well. <laughs> I don't know why either. I'm a nice person. <laughs> why are you all laughing? It's the truth. <laughs> I just remember the scene where you just took the tier three mech and annihilated an entire base of someone. <laughs> yeah, that was fair. Fair. <laughs> Yeah, that was deserved because he kind of went overboard. <laughs> Yeah, well, they they yeah, stole a lot of stuff from things. us uh, that we cheated in, so no, no, no deal actually. Uh, let's put down a tomahawk. Uh, let's get rid of some stuff I can't use, like this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Um, will you add open dungeon for loot PvP? Yeah, there will be of course more locations where you can get epic loot, uh, loot, but. There's something that we will work on, such as uh, more caves and especially uh, an underground biome that we, you will have to unlock by uh, crafting a very specific item. Well, no, let's wait until the tomorrow is ready. Uh, let's install some lights, shall we? And some. Uh... The game will be $25 once it hits the. How does the jail aspect work? I'm really intrigued by it, but I don't know how you plan for it to work. Well, as a faction member, you have a, a, um, something like ranking or reputation points. And uh, if you decide to raid your own faction members or kill your own faction members, you will, uh, first of all, lose ranking points. And you might get a warning for the first time, but um, on the second time, um, you will be either teleported or picked up by a drone and brought to the jail. We haven't decided about that yet, how it will work in detail, but um, the story is you will get to the jail and you have to do repetitive work to if you want to get out of it. Or maybe uh, another member of your group can try to bail you out, but it will be pretty well defended. There will be private servers with customizable rules and some sort of workshop with user-created items. Yeah, we will allow private servers. They are already running. A few of our testers are already running private servers. User-created items through the workshop. We will see about that since that's going to belong to the mod support or modding support for Pentropy. Uh, we don't have a solar plan for that yet, but it will be added. Um, Waskin told me something about Lily destroying bases. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> Lily? <laughs> what? I didn't destroy anything yet. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She said yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, everyone picked about I'm picked on that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, let's add a research. Well, section. at the moment there. Are for example, outposts on both faction sides and the territory control buildings that you can capture, and those will be guarded by um, androids and also by uh, guard drones. We will add these, um, I think, next month. So there will be much more of a challenge to capture territory or uh, capture outposts. And you can get epic loot from outposts. And you will also, or you can at the moment, 
capture uh, power plants that are on the map, and we are uh, currently working on a huge mining facility that will be uh, you will be able to capture that too, and you gain a faction-wide bonus on your uh, either on your power generation or on your mining rate. I haven't played Robocraft, so I can't can't comment comment on that. But Rust has been an inspiration, yeah. But we try to get as uh, far away from these games as possible. Of course, there will be still similar crafting, mining, and base building. Yeah, we want to be but... a strong and independent game. Yeah, we especially at the moment we are really hard working <laughs> on our USBs. Will there be a possibility of a jailbreak? Yeah. Yeah, I think if you you can try. The get the. But uh, it will be heavily guarded. Uh, the jail. Oh, there's Lily coming. I think uh, your last uh, statement will end up as a meme. What? The <laughs> we strong, strong and independent game. game. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I will give the one who uh, who does the best meme of that <laughs> one the free key of the game. <laughs> no, what? <laughs> post it. Post it on the meme yeah. channel or Discord. I <laughs> post uh, invite link. No, Metamark. Can I shoot already? Come closer! Got in their range. <laughs> yep. Tomahawk range is way too oh, far. Crap. Yes, and way too accurate. I I mean, the, the turret should at least... Oh no, the turret tries to... Come on. Yes. Ahoy. Oh, help me. Uh, Lily is over there. Maybe you can. Oh, do we have a weapon or gun? That is such betrayal. I don't. I don't have a weapon. Oh, Alright, I can get your weapon. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, no! No. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well. Sorry. Hashtag sorry, hashtag no answer. Not sorry. <laughs> Do you have a uh, spawn point? Uh, yes, wait, let me add you to the group. Um. Finally. Yes! Finally! Man! How can you fly so long? Ah, oh, you missed it, didn't you? Nope. Can you hijack any goods? Uh, we are currently thinking about some kind of hacking systems, so it might be possible in the future that we can confirm that. <laughs> well, I drop on the hill. <laughs> Yeah, I think. Cheaters! <laughs> no! Come on, not cheater! Element! <laughs> Wait, alright, alright. Let me turn off God Mode, but let me let me be in, be in a safe place for that. Maybe you change change the daytime. Oh, yeah, of course. How can you fly so long? Well, I assume he has an epic jetpack and so Yeah. Yeah. So, Plus, um... I know how to fly with it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Depending on the crafting quality of the jetpack, it can fly longer or shorter. So, and the quality of the jetpack depends on your crafting level. And so, I will uh, give away the first key. Uh, everyone who wants to participate, uh, besides the meme contest, <laughs> um, just write "pantropy" in the chat now. I really like the idea of meme contest. 
<laughs> and if you want to. Oh, to nice. <laughs> Come on, die already. Did you die yet? Nope. Why not? Oh, fuck, no, I don't. Oh, oh well, no. I took you with me. Bam! <laughs> no. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Let's rename that one. Um. You got one of them uh, jetpacks? Right, yeah. Okay. Well, wait, here you go. <laughs> this is like like pregnant. Uh, pregnant. Writing yeah. <laughs> pregnant. <Yeah. laughs> there are so many versions of pentropy. Pep yeah, uh, pentropy with E. <laughs> <laughs> Did someone write pantrophy Pen yet? Yeah, well, we. Yeah, we. Well, <laughs> We got a few of, of those. Plantropy. Uh no, let's build up the base a little. <laughs> can we can we can we For Ganon? <laughs> Uh can we extend the base a little? So we don't have this crappy small little base as last time. Oh. Alright. I mean we can go haywire. Uh, the system allows it now. Let me add some stuff in some chests. Um. Here you go. Get some stuff. Welcome. Um, over here. Some T2 base parts. Who's claiming land? Oh, and also, uh, we did a, lo a lot of performance, we fixed a lot of performance issues uh, regarding base loading. So, uh, previously we had like Voskin's base, and there was a huge flying base. Maybe we can show a little picture of that one. Um, that got. Uh, oh, I, I, I okay, I'm sorry about it. Looks like that Twitch giveaway is currently not working. Oh, yes, uh, the developer. Uh, has written a statement into the tool. Uh, this is some Chrome issue I can't track down, so I can't fix it. That's my big face. Oh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> There's none to roll from. Hmm. That's weird. Uh, maybe is there another tool? Maybe you can use. Yeah, I'll I'll try. Or maybe just hand pick one. I'll go. Uh... No, I think that's not very fair to pick one. <laughs> well, I mean, if they all. Had Type hashtag pentropy or something in the chat, and you just go uh, in a minute move. I will find a solution. Don't worry. All right. In a minute move, and raus bist du. No, the landing platform. I gotta rebuild that one because Lily nuked it. Um. Lily what? Lily nuked it. Oh! Oh, by the way. Uh, maybe I can show that one off. Um, <laughs> I did a little tinkering with the tier 3 mech and uh, when I was uh, working on... Um, oh, by the way guys, um, we did uh, uh, some stuff that, with, uh, that came with the base batching system that Sebastian explained earlier. Uh, you can see bases from far away now. For, previously you... Uh, you couldn't really see bases from far away from like 50, 500 meter distance. Now you can set the base render distance to 5000 meters if you want to. Uh, which is quite nice. Um, so I can still see the base up there. But let me just uh, place the tier 3 mech. Uh, maybe you guys want to... Oh, no, that was the wrong one. Uh, um, let's place it... Yeah. Add some explosive flavor to it. Oh, so it's gonna build first. Oh yeah, I, I, uh, we fixed the the uh, spawn thingy, uh, the con uh, mech, mech constructor. Uh, it now shows the correct icon, the exact time you have left, and as you can see, it's it's being slowly uh, generated. So this is really neat. Um, so yeah, 
Well, when is going to be released? Uh, around the uh, either in the third or fourth quarter of this year. Um, there's no exact date. Yeah, we really want to be happy with with a version before we uh, release it on Steam. So um, there's still some polishing left, officially, obviously. Uh, back during the demo days, uh, we had Max. Oh, oh shit! All right, yeah, well, I forgot. Uh, right. I can't wait to see that on Steam. <laughs> Oh, it was glorious. <laughs> no, actually, it was quite <laughs> anticlimactic. <laughs> I mean, I, I I accidentally pressed right click when putting down uh, these charges. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> and um, <laughs> explode. No, but uh, I know I got. At this point, you're taking my job away. Yeah. From me. Like, I don't need to hunt that anymore. <laughs> I think I I, I forgot to. To, I didn't think that the mech would explode that fast. Um, um, that was quite annoying. I am at the terminal. What did what it say? I'm at the terminal in a base on A3. What would I do with the terminal? Uh, hold E on it. But it's quite laggy at the moment. Alright, so hang in there guys. Uh... Alright, if you if you're going to look wait, no it's, it's still twenty seconds left. Uh, it's twenty seconds left. Enough time to take a quick sip from my water. Okay, so I figured out to do the uh, giveaway uh, on another way so i have a, a short riddle for you and the first one who solves it will get a key so everyone is ready for it i will post it now first correct answer will get the oh no oh, i know that but it yeah. is universe <laughs> shit <laughs> Don't spoil it. I'm not. I told no, you no I'm not. Spoils it. <laughs> okay, Bjorn B has won. Hey! The <laughs> but he's already in game. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, then. Is it possible? Okay, Amos. Yeah, Bjorn already has a key. Yeah. So the next one is Amos. Come All on. right, guys, guys, guys. Uh, who are on the base? Uh, are you still on the base? Uh, f uh, Frisky and Lily? What uh, base? The flying base that I built, that you attacked. How would I be there? You killed me. Oh. Uh, well, I added you to the group, so you could have spawned there. That, that, that would have... I didn't see oh, that. All right. Okay. Yeah, man. Uh, all right, uh, Frisky, look down. <laughs> I, I got a little surprise. Um, I added a little um, little flair to the mech ex uh, to the mech uh, when it gets destroyed. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I feel like I need to shield my eyes. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's a bit a bit more epic. Um, like Sapphire is online. This is not Fortnite. No, it isn't. <laughs> Uh, let's see <laughs> Um... Now get back to Tribune Space. Let's add... Oh! I like what you did with the place. You added a little sh Feng Shui. Now, what, what, what is it called? Feng, feng, feng Shui. Feng Shui, exactly. Close <laughs> 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 enough. Feng Shui, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. H. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Yeah, I mean, there's still the uh, the meme contest going on, right? Let me check the Discord. I don't know. Uh, Kuska, I just checked the, the link I just posted. 
Uh, yeah, that, that's a solution for it. Did you oh. just put me inside of a wall? <laughs> yeah, you did that with me, you did that with me too. Uh, someone is asking, uh, are all the mechs going to be pre-built or are there different ways to customize going to be implemented? Well, you can customize your mech in a way uh, where you can choose your... Oh, it's going to take 60 seconds until I have my mech ready. So you, what you can do is you can choose um, either your tech modules. So you can have a mech shield, uh, oh. a stealth module. <laughs> Um, the aircraft boost module or uh, jump jets for your mech and you can also choose the weaponry uh, we have quite a wide range of weapons we have uh, the rocket launcher pod uh, the rocket pod um, that can, you, with which you can shoot 16 rockets rapidly uh, the dual ma uh, laser lance uh, rail gun uh, the mech gatling gun and also a mining laser so you can go around and mine ores with your mech so 15 seconds left uh, but there and also you will be able to choose skins for your mech uh, there are three different skins by default and then there are also the backer skins for the um, uh, for of course uh, kicks are the backers um, which you can choose more from but that's currently not implemented will be all right, let's maybe add, uh, oh yeah, that's on the right, that works, the laser lance, let's install that one. What's going on? Oh, guys, I, I added the, what are you doing? Why, why the, you're, you're pretty blue. Um, let's spawn another. Oh, oh, the thing is halfway out of the shield, man. Oh, but there's a lot of room up here for for Tomahawk. Bear with me, Frisky. Uh, one second, you gotta. Um, uh, All right. Fifty seconds, and then my Tomahawk is here, and uh, and then. I can. I, I. I. Oh yeah. I added stealth to the tomahawk. That wasn't working before, but it's now working. Um, also, I added the 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 the, gener uh, the effect where it's slowly building up on the tomahawk as well. So there's not this gray model, but there seems to be still one mesh that is still gray. Uh, let's add sea fire to the group. Where's sea fire here? Right. See if I enjoyed my group. Oh yeah, uh, I I added some notifications for when someone joins um, joins the group. Oh Frisky, I I didn't give you building rights, but we're still able to place things. Yeah, I can place things, just not remove them. Right. Well, let's. Uh, I I just gave you some building rights. I don't know is that locked to you that you your building rights has changed. Yeah, I can build now again. It's fine. Okay, here's another riddle. Ready? Go. <laughs> I know that one as well. <laughs> <laughs> which which room? Which room? Okay, uh, M. Rusha is the winner. Lions who hasn't eaten in three years. Uh, the or frozen that. one is actually the first one that answered. Okay, but the answer, yeah. Yeah, okay. But technically, he did answer correctly. Technically, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's true. We have to find a riddle that is not that easy to Google. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What did you do? I think I pressed the wrong Why button. Why would you do that? <laughs> I killed myself by accident. <laughs> Sorry. And you killed nice. my tomahawk. I just... Man. Why? You're sorry. <laughs> what, 
with um, explosive charges. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got nothing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Misclick. Oh, that's pretty cool. The 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 staircase is like a roller coaster, but a pretty lame one because it's, yeah, well. Um. <laughs> Yeah, you're going my stairs later. <laughs> I, no, I, I love the staircase that is continuously going up like this. It's pretty mesmerizing. Um, but f if it were a roller coaster, it would be a lame roller coaster. Um, Alright, let's. Oh, my mech is ready. Finally. Why is there so many. Charges around here. Yeah, well, there's. <laughs> Did only one go uh, off? They, they, the students. The old stairs are laid flat. That didn't seem to be. What is, what is with all, all stars? Is someone How do we know charges? All stairs are laid roller coasters. Yeah. <laughs> Can't argue with that. It's super strange. Now the left side of the uh, mech is working. Um, the gun is pointing in the right direction, but the right one isn't. So it has something to do with where you are on the, on the in the world. Will closed alpha be multiplayer? Yeah, the game has been uh, multiplayer since the early beginning, so it will stay multiplayer and but will also offer single player. If we had better. <laughs> God, it scared the shit out of me. Uh, by the way, guys, how is your performance? Uh, uh, I'm running okay? 60 solid. I mean, frisky, holly. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, better than before, worse. For sure, better. Great. I can smell my PC, but that's just AMD. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit more heavy on the GPU, but. Uh, Therefore, uh, it is less expensive for the CPU, and also, uh, which is a good good thing because uh, Unity is always a bit heavy on the CPU, and yeah, that's I think it's a good one, a good thing. But there's still a lot of room to improve, of course. And also, we we uh, updated our Unity version to uh, the 2017.3.1 P1 version of Unity, which fixed uh, some. Uh, performance issues uh, with the UI, um, which we were looking forward to because it was drawing quite the quite a uh, quite quite a, quite a lot of performance. Yeah. Just a second, guys. If you want a key, I'm sending those uh, through the message tool on Twitch through through uh, Twitch. Just check your messages and join our Discord. Yeah, uh, in our Discord we keep you guys uh, up to date um, when we will patch the game, where we will... Uh, oh, oh, oh. What's the password for the doors and, and stuff? Oh Probably shit. Probably yeah. password. Password? Let me just remake Oh, them. you just typed anything in? Or your usual password? Yeah. All right. Yeah, that's what I do always. <laughs> there we go. Test. Test is alright. That's a good password. <laughs> you should totally put a key on the screen randomly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you could actually do that. The yeah, mad okay. scramble is always. So here's the key. Watch. First one who activates it. <laughs> I like that idea. Oh, I love that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, you did it. But I don't think that we are going to do that again. Uh, I think it causes more frustration and only good time for a single person. <laughs> you should make a fake code. Oh, no, already, uh, someone already uh, activated it. Yeah. Uh... I, I, I mind the guy uh, who suggested that if he's clever, he already had a Steam ready and set up to enter a key. Yeah, and he's probably multi monitoring as well. So, <laughs> you know what? What kind of base part we need? This this one. This 
this half round thingy. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, but I couldn't do this. Oh no, well, well that's not a great solution, but yeah, well. It works. Yeah, the Kickstarter is only running another 12 days, and afterwards, um, all the bakers that uh, has pledged uh, a tier for the early access to the closed alpha in May will get the keys as soon as possible. Um, it might it may take uh, one or two days to send out all the keys, but we will try to do this as as fast as possible, and we will also give away uh, a few more keys to the YouTubers, and if they stream or record another video of Petropy and I'm sure that they will do um, a giveaway too. Oh, this guy just left. Ah, oh, yeah, I wanted to give Kuskai all my inventory, but I just lost my toolbar. Right, um, let's remove some of this feng shui. You know it needs to be an option? If you can get on top of a mech and then just drop a remote charge right somewhere down like an exhaust port or something and just blow <laughs> it up. Yeah, that's what I, what I said too, but my idea was uh, that you can stick a lot of remote charges to a drone and then fly the drone to someone else's base or something. I love that. Yeah. I, I, but I, I, can, I, can, I can already hear the, all the wrong situations that are going to come up with that, but I love it. Yeah, there will be a special Discord server for backers. It will be a, a separate uh, channel inside of our Discord. Um, regarding the anti-infantry turrets for the mech, uh, what we have thought about is creating some sort of AI modules which you can install in your turrets of the mech. So for example, the T3 mech has uh, two turrets and it's possible to control them um, by multiple players. So you can have um, a pilot using the main cannon and two gunners um, using uh, the, the two turrets. And for single player, of course, you can uh, use all three turrets at once, but uh, we are thinking about an option to add the AI module to the turret so it can aim automatically. Lydia, I think it's called Smooth at the Baby's Bottom. It's called whatever I call it. <laughs> That's not how, how grammar works. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bye, was doomed to fail. Was doomed to fail? Well, that's, yeah, that's his that's name. Optimistic. Well, did he actually get a key or not? Who? I was doomed, dude. Because if he didn't, then his name is kind of prophetic, <laughs> so... <laughs> no, he did. Well, he was doomed to fail. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's gonna come around and bite you in your ass when you're yeah. gonna be coding something really yeah, nasty, right? <laughs> Maybe I like that. Yeah, we have a few requirements for content creators and streamers. Uh, so you need at least uh, 500 uh, followers or subscribers and. Uh, you have stream at least or record the video at least once a week. So otherwise it would be unfair for a huge amount of people because we are getting a lot of uh, fake requests and uh, requests from people who have streamed the last time one year ago. And yeah, it would be unfair for all the other players who have been waiting for yeah. a key. Oh, nine. Oh, fuck. Wrong button. Didn't want to kill myself this time. See, see that, that that's what happens. Wrong buttons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> I mean, it did blow up myself before earlier the same way you did.
No, he said he has a 380, I think. Hmm. Is it... He shouldn't be having any issues. I, I mean, I had issues for the first two minutes after logging in for some reason. I don't know why, but after that, it just completely smooth. Right. Maybe I, I mean we have some graphics options you can tune tune down. Maybe the base render distance, the tree render distance, for example, the grass render distance, shadow render distance, and all render distance. Uh, you should turn those down. Yeah, maybe it, it shouldn't uh, set to to max, even if you set it on high, maybe you should make that a custom. It should be set to a reasonable value. Well, but what is reasonable? And I think the... Yeah... There's something I mean, for me, the high is reasonable. Editor. Yeah. Let's build some... Oh, let's move the base, shall we? Move it to somewhere else. Oh. Maybe land the base? Uh, run, yeah. We try to send out keys as soon as possible once the Kickstarter ended, so you can expect the keys uh, on May 11th or 12th. Oh, I was in the middle of building. Oh, I'm sorry. But we will land soon, so... <laughs> no worries. That's right, it should be sturdy enough, I hope. I was doomed to fail. Um, if you back the Kickstarter now, you... You won't no. get a keep right right away. That's not how Kickstarter works, unfortunately. And I think we we're not going to give away any more keys today because we have to figure out why Twitch giveaways is not working. And but we will make another stream and might give uh, a few more keys away. And um, buildings have stability, yes. Yes, and you can see that in the right, bottom right corner. Um... <laughs> what are you doing? I'm <laughs> jumping with the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I'm sorry, I think I have to kill you. Know. Are you even on the server yet? Yeah, I finally managed to get on oh. the server too. Uh, I was just answering chat questions, but now I think... I yeah. hope the base doesn't turn into a sw swimming pool again and lands properly on the on the floor. We'll see. I, I don't know. Does it turn into what again? Yeah, well, we... <laughs> I had a huge base on the developer server, and it, it instead of landing on the ground, it just went through the ground and into the sea. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Instant Atlantis. Yeah. It's the game talking it, to you, man. It might do we the same thing right now, matches. but I, I, I hope not. Let's see. Prepare for impact. We're nearly there. There's so many drop boxes down here. Oh yeah, that's why it's so quiet. The 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 sounds from the oh no, it's it's going through again. Oh no. Uh oh. Beep. We might be fine up here though. Oh shit! Someone get inside. I want to see what happens if you get pulled in. Yeah, I'm in the mech. No, I'm getting... that was so me. Um, oh no. Yep. No. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm through. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. Oh. We made it. Well, and as you can see, <laughs> we are now <laughs> underwater halfway. What is what is flying there in the sky? Oh, there was I, I saw a mech flying, but it just disappeared. <laughs> well, okay, where, where who needs there? hatches? Yeah, I mean this this looks pretty cool. <laughs> Ooh. You see what I mean with with um, swimming with swimming pool? I mean this looks amazing. The water's. This is a pretty good camouflage. Yeah. <laughs> Under the ground. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's pretty good camouflage. Well, I, got, I think I gotta fix that. 
Uh, right, it's a very good thing there are no sharks in the game yet. <laughs> Mm. Yeah, but we have finished the model for the shark. Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, we've planned. <laughs> like Please patch this before you put the shark in. We've planned that it's since day one, movie. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are we... Let me just see if we're going up again. Grab a peek. I mean, here's the, the shark concept art. Oh, what can't I post a. On Twitch. Strange. No, you can't be rated while you're offline. At least uh, this is how it. Uh, this how the system should work. It might be uh, buggy sometimes at the moment. But we have an offline raid protection, so when you log off, your base is safe. But when you log off while being attacked or raided, it's not safe. You can see the shark. We've also finished the model. I just can't. I'm just not sure if we have shared it yet. Uh... But we, we we have to work on all the water physics and player interaction stuff. Yeah, currently the water is just uh, visuals. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Kuska, did you try turning it on and off again? <laughs> yeah. Um. All right, maybe Kuska. I get 50 FPS. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a compromise to me. Oh, okay. Well... Yeah, because it is the first time that we are basically uh, testing this with our testers, so there's still a lot that we can improve. Yeah. But I, I think it's strange. I, I'm getting 60 FPS, and I never had 60 FPS in the game before. Hmm. Maybe he has an older, older version of the, of or maybe an older graphics card or something. I mean, you got the newest graphic card there is. Yeah, sure, but I have a crappy uh, CPU for gaming, so I had I had a good graphics card before. <laughs> so yeah, well, oh, uh, and one another thing you might see uh, before when you were changing your camera angle, so you would uh, uh, you would go through the ground, and now it's adjusting itself. So it doesn't go through anything anymore. Um. Let's increase the tree render distance again. Render distance. Oh, come on. Yeah. Why? has a question um, how many people will there be on each server and can you make it so you and your friends are on the same server well you could join the server uh, you could just join the server oh, yeah because it's fine um, 
Thanks a lot to Lato uh, Motte and Ch Chaya. Um, Chaya. You can search for the name inside of the lobby uh, of the server and join it. Will there be joystick control for uh, the uh, vehicles? Not planned yet, but would be cool. Um. Hey, don't shoot at me. It's not me who. God damn it. Oh, I... It was frisky. No, Why that, you keep that on killing didn't me? look like frisky. <laughs> I wasn't shooting. Is your base in the sky again? Yes. In the yes. air? And it's moving, so you might not be able to see it. Even if I turn up the base from a distance? Yes. Because it's not batched. So, okay, where are you, where are you located? Um, wait. Uh, D2, F3. Uh, oh my god, Pentropy, why did your Twitter account get suspended? We posted nudes. Oh, no, um, we... <laughs> <laughs> you wish you didn't have any. <laughs> no, it, um, I don't know, it, 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 um... Yeah, a bunch of uh, Twitter accounts yeah. has been uh, suspended. Even a lot of verified uh, accounts with familiar followers. And we, we suspect that it adds something to do with uh, our marketing guy in the past using TweetDeck. But we stopped doing that, uh, and we also stopped working with him in November. So it's kind we of have no clue we because the the new TOS were released in January. <laughs> Where did that come from? Probably Sebastian. By the way, did you notice that when I just fly, I get. 50 meter per second, and then when I boost, it stays. Yeah, you only get 50 meter. You only get higher um, if you fly downwards. Okay. Do you feel the agility? Do you feel the Mr. Krebs? I still have issues with uh, the yeah. role changing. Did something uh, just fall off the base? It was me. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, when the frame rate gets low, the roll roll rate is pretty high. The rotation rate in general. Oh no! I should have picked a better rocket launcher. This is crap. Ah, somebody else shooting me. <laughs> who's who's <laughs> dropping remote yeah. charges here? <laughs> it's not me with three more charges, I swear. I uh, tried to drop one while mid-air and I surpassed it when I exploded, so... No! <laughs> that's some, some sick James Bond move there. Well, that's all the weapons I had. Yeah, if God gives you the remote charges, kill the devs. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I hope so at least. Yeah. I just go rub my glow stick over here. Man, uh, you're gonna rub your glow stick? What? He <laughs> <laughs> just now figured it out. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wait, wait, why did I'm you get killed? I have, because I have armor. Oh, come on, that's cheating! And you know it! <laughs> Hey, so many people just, uh, um, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't... Right. <laughs> complained, complained in the, uh, in the Discord that the armor has little, literally it no has effect. It has no effect? No, it has all the effects. Yeah. I mean, you're like, invincible. 
How does mining work? Well, there are multiple ways. Uh, who's that? Not me. Whoa! <laughs> 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 ah, yes! Good teamwork there. <laughs> <coughs> um, oh, mining. Um, well, uh, there are multiple ways to do mining. First of all, you can use a pickaxe, but it's just a very basic tool. Then you can craft three different kind of mining tools. You can equip mining lasers to your tomahawk, to your max, and you can craft a mining station. Uh, a small one and a big one, which is basically an automated mining tool or mining station. And it will um, have mine ores depending on the type of the mining head you put into it. That fell down, no! <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry for that. <laughs> about, the item box fell down. Oh, oh come on! Yeah. <laughs> Seriously? Where's the base? Oh, there. Come inside. Man, I gotta get batching to work when the base is not flying. Pretty awkward. Oh, I got one. I got one. Oops. Yeah, we got rockets incoming. And yes, mine, mine, or um, or notes respawn. So there are always about uh, a bit more than 5,000 ore nodes on the map and the quality increases towards the inside of the map such as the difficulty of the creatures and enemy. Oh, that actually yeah. hit you? Nice! You're moving, that's... Oh, wow! Holy oh, shit. yeah! <laughs> Ooh, man, man. That really nice. was awesome. Well, Project Takeover to Flying Fort <laughs> has been exist. Uh, Parkhead, uh, when did you back through the website? But uh, we had this issue with the CMS that we are using before, and it might state that it's cancelled but all the payments uh go through oh that's bad hello hello how are you hello yeah don't worry uh all the payments uh are correct and gone through uh, oh, we'll just come have on. to take some time soon and um, approve all of them manually. But everyone who paid will get, of course, uh, rewards. Oh, that's, uh, that's not working quite as, as planned. They just randomly, they just go in here somewhere and over there. Um, Man, there's so many. Yeah, it's basically it's... just uh, WooCommerce uh, identifying the the status wrong. Where are we? Right here. Let's see. By bases. Base. Let's stop this base right here. And. We stop moving. Now we can build again. Yay! Um, let's get some parts. Yeah, of course, cat. That will be no problem. Doomed has a question about the alien structure.
alien structure. This one. Huge. Well, yeah, the, the huge structure in the middle of the map is the, um, is the faction tower of uh, the NPC faction. And it will be, you will be able to enter it later. And it will have to do something with the story. And, but that's something that we, we are still working on and that will take some time. from this enemy base right here but there's guard bottoms if i shoot him he will he will shoot uh, rockets at me oh boy we'll just randomly all right yeah, sure we'll do that oh no 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 he's angry oh no 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 And now the oh no oh 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 fucking I'm dead. Man, those walks are pretty hardcore. Um. I miss the F button to check where <laughs> you are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was pretty good. Or just, you know, see who be who per a person is. Then you have to like walk up to them and be like, oh, hello. Yeah. It would be nice to bring it actually back for ID purposes. So if you can already see a player, just pressing it lets you know if it's an enemy or a friendly. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it should work on the better side. Who's shooting at me? Can't be me. Not me. I said not me! <laughs> <laughs> oh! What's happening? Oh, that's... Now it was me. Oh, <laughs> for real. I cannot identify you or whoever is shooting me because you all look like ants when flying around with the tomorrow around this base. Well, the inside looks fucked up now, but nothing I could do anymore. Anyway. Oh, how, 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 how was that? Oh, just some random stairs. Oh no. And you can't uh, unbuild them? Nah, I just gonna lost my CMT when I got killed. I got, so I got one down here for you. In the uh, stone furnace. Yeah, whoever built that. Probably Kuska guy. Oh, that was me as well, because oh. it didn't have anything. Well, it, it, it has some... Is this supposed to happen? What? Julian, come out. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> I just... I mean, I'm... Oh, oh shit, no! What killed me? No! The what the... You just died. What happened? I know. Holy shit. I, uh, I think the hawk just bugged out or something, because he was standing still. I was standing on it, and just three seconds later, I just died. No, that's, that's supposed to... <laughs> Oh, look who had some remote charges. <laughs> I, I don't know, but I, I threw the remote charges, charges towards my hovering tomahawk and why Lily was trying to get on oh, you, you, Yeah, currently... In a, I used right I was used right click, but they didn't explode for me. Fuck. 
Well, that sure as hell exploded. Fall damage. No, currently there isn't fall any fall damage. Um, actually, not, not that hard to implement. But... Oh no, I can't get out. Why, why is that? Oh, why? I can't get out. I can't do anything. That's, that's bad. I love the question mark. <laughs> Are you stuck yes. in there? Well, I gotta kill myself so I get out. Uh, hopefully that works. Nope! I just died in, uh, in the mech. Oops. Maybe if I respawn now, maybe that works. No. Right. Alright, I gotta respawn. Oh, could anybody, could someone uh, destroy this little mech right here? So, guys, we are launching in May or now? Um, we are not launching now, and also not in May. Uh, we are running what a closed alpha, and to me. Um, all the pledges, pledge tiers for May will get a key to the closed alpha. Uh, this key will, of course, be valid through the whole development and until the release of the game. But we are not going to release uh, the game anytime soon. Who oh, made a clip of, of me disconnecting the stream? Why though? <laughs> <laughs> Did you disconnect or? Yeah, I uh, disconnected. Because okay. I couldn't get off my Mac but for some reason. And it didn't even show me my uh, Mac hut. Um, Oh, we're being raided! Oh, be yep, we or got some dropships yeah, incoming. But, but that dropped stuff all the way down there. Lowstone. Uh, is that one of the uh, Twitch viewers? I don't know. Mm, I don't know. I know that he's on Discord. Oh, okay. He probably isn't. Um, let's do something like, like, stem the base or something. Yeah, that I actually has a point. You ought to change the name of your stream. Yeah, sure. Okay, so sure. long stream, yeah. It's okay, they're just a bit airheaded with some things. Some end stream, maybe? Or mid stream. No, who's throwing charges? Oh man! It's uh, not me. Yeah, it's it's you. <laughs> and I, it's not bloody me. I almost fell off the damn base. <laughs> I just saw the charge uh, the corner of my. You're getting paranoid, man. Don't be. I'm getting used to it. <laughs> Have fun. Okay, um, I think we have shown everything you wanted to show today. Or do you want to show anything else? <laughs> Just kill yourself? No, I, 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 I think I... He killed me. <laughs> I displayed everything. <laughs> I mean, we got some new graphics. We shown um, the base patching system that it works. Use uh, new new sounds. I think we shown everything we have right now. Um, so I guess that's it with the stream for today. Uh, next time you'll be seeing the Zeus, the big aircraft. Um, this is uh, what I'm going to work on for the next few days. Um, um, there's a 
as good player multiplayer vehicles that are quite big. Yes, uh, big vehicles like Cyclops where you can place objects inside. Oh no, that's not that big. Um, you can't walk in any of inside of. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, they are they are multi crew vehicles, but here they have no yeah, interior. Exactly. Why are there no trees for you? That's an excellent question. Because he's cheating. Maybe I'm too fast for, for it. No, oh, trees should be always there. At least the billboards. Yeah, good time to end the stream, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> no. That's, that's kind of weird. That shouldn't happen. Mm, that's interesting. Alright, then with the next stream you'll be seeing this one fly. Um, um and yeah thanks for 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 checking it out um we hope to see you soon in uh, in game um at least uh, these guys uh, the guys that backed our kickstarter campaign um and uh, thanks for watching thanks he actually has a question, a question for you guys uh, well, who has a question the colored map squares. Oh, the colored map squares. Um, those are part of the territory system. So we are part of, or, or I'm, I'm inside of the Endel faction, and we got the territory. We took over the territory of G2, H2, and F5, and Itakawa, the our uh, enemy faction, um, took over some other spots on the map. Um, so yeah, it's. Uh, uh, later on, we we are thinking about having only players be able to to build inside um, their own uh, territories. So they have to keep the territories in order to 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 build a base inside of them. So yeah. All right. Um, so it was a great stream. Thank you, everyone, and uh, see you next yep. time. Bye. Bye bye. bye.